What's up, everybody? Brett here, back today playing some more of our Oxyodle Vortex campaign. Let's play. All right, y'all. We've got a siege here with Tic-Tac-Toe that I'm excited to get to. Uh, but first, I just wanted to say apologies for the no videos for two days in a row. Um, basically, my air conditioner in my house broke. It's 100 degrees where I live, and my office is unbearably hot. I'm recording this right now. My air conditioner still isn't fixed. It's early in the morning, and I'm trying to get this done while it's still only like 70 degrees outside, and my room is at least, you know, I don't know, it's like 77 in here right now with a fan going. It's not too bad, but my computer is super hot. It runs hot, you know. I've got like eight fans and liquid cooling and all that good stuff in there, but it it's not enough. It's it's still overheat playing Total War Warhammer 2, so let's get this going. We've got a Pyrrhic victory is giving me. It's like, yeah, man, you're going to lose all your stuff. I think we'll do better than that. They've got double noble and a caster of some variety. But this layout is pretty favorable for attackers usually. Kind of funny they reuse this this map type so so much. I always get this map whenever I fight the Skaven and it's so easy just to deploy everything to the left and just kind of sweep, but let's see, we've got how many flyers? I think all of our dudes are on pterodons. I kind of deployed me all the way to the right instead of over here in this like spot where literally no one can shoot me. Yeah. Like, honestly, I don't know under what scenario I would ever deploy in front of all those towers and let myself get shot to pieces. Um, we've got a bunch of cav. Let's maybe make like a hot group four, hot group five. And we'll see. We might deploy them at different gatehouses. To pull some of the enemies away from this section. You guys here. Let's see. Tic-tac-toe, are we all on pterodons? Yes. The problem is that these guys are casters, so they don't have ranged attacks. Um, what I might end up doing with them is something like this. Let's go... Six... You know what? No, I don't want to do that at all. That's terrible. This is what happens when I don't play for a few days. Um, let's just keep these guys in a group together. Maybe with the Skink Chief. Let's do that. You guys can be in hot group six together. Sure. Tic-Tac-Toe will probably be by himself. I do need wall climbers. So I'm going to take them here. You, however, will probably be like a hot group two. Hot group one. And like a high group three, maybe something like this. It's kind of weird. My skinks can come over here and try to take the wall. Let's get that out of the way. They can try to take this part of the wall here. Um, this group, I don't think you guys can climb walls. No, feels like ogres should probably be able to climb walls, but I guess not. They will try to take this gate. I kind of want to bring more here. Let's do this. And then you guys will try to take this gate. Pterodons are going to come over here and sweep this part of the wall. And shoot over here. Tic-Tac-Toe can also Vanguard deploy. You guys just get close. And I think that's fine. Could also deploy him here. Okay. Well, guys, let's go. Alright, let's get these guys here. Come over here. Tic-Tac-Toe has fireballs. I mean, we could do some stuff with that. What else do we have? Wind Blast, Block of Doom. That'll all be quite good. Let's see if we can get a Wind Blast here. Let's go ahead and deploy back here and see if we can't get some work done against these archers. Because they will be shooting me to pieces. Hmm. Sort of anti-heroes. Interesting. Just kind of seeing what my weapon choices are here. Ah, eh, not a great cast. 
You guys are blobbing up. Don't like that. Go around the other side, homies. This side. Having to babysit is a little annoying. Thunderbolt's gonna do some work. We are taking a lot of damage in pretty much every quarter. Start shooting at the Lothern Sea Guard. We can just keep casting Wind Blasts. Or, I mean, Flock of Dooms. That's a pretty solid one there. Let's actually lock this formation and move forward a little bit and we'll drop some rocks. Oh, great. Because he's in here, I can't drop the rocks. Let's double click here. We'll drop the rocks there. Devastating. You know what I should just do? Let's just send Tic-Tac-Toe here. Go get him, Tic-Tac. Mornfang Cav is in. We'll just send him through here to go kill these Lothern Sea Guard. Go fight there. Gotta be careful, they've got nobles on the wall. Go get them, guys. I think their charge is gonna be so powerful. They mitigate the charge defense of the Lothern Sea Guard. They just gotta get in there. Fight young skink. Another noble there. The man eaters should just be beating him to death. Man, go fight. Just got a big group of spearmen here that need to go. Use our blessed cold one riders. You guys still didn't break the gate yet? Come on, man. Alright, turn. Turn and go kill these archers. And in melee, they'll do okay. Back up, back up. And what else could we cast? Just get another flock of doom, I suppose. Cast a soul blight on me. Okay, that still ended up being an okay cast. Everyone moved. We weren't in great position. Are you serious? We're getting shot from behind by archers? Oh my god, please. Please, game. I don't know how we lost orders here. But we did. You guys go that away. Please go help here. This fight feels like it should pretty much already be over. Man eaters, please do your work. And just chase. We'll just fly over them, make sure they run away. You've lost your orders as well somehow. The fight not over yet? What are we waiting on? Man, when I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining too much. The but the mass changes really bother me. The sieges. I'm really hoping that in Warhammer Three, they've uh, they fixed the sieges. They say they they've been working on it, and I'm gonna take them at their word until proven otherwise. I have high hope for it, but I really don't like the mass changes. Big, my unit should be able to push past the others. These guys dropped orders again. Man. 
I'd be curious to know, for those of you who play this game, whether or not you experience drop orders. Who is still fighting? Why is this battle still going on? This one noble? I mean, I've conquered the stronghold. It's 90 seconds until I get all the victory points. This one noble just thinks he's going to win. Is he unbreakable? He is. Why? Is this a trade he has, maybe? That's kind of crazy. I wish I had noticed that earlier. I see his leadership is not going down. See if we can even see him in there. He's just laying on the ground, dying. That's alright. We win in 60 seconds regardless. We can fast forward here. And there we go. The land of Kalidor expansion has been ravaged. I don't think Emric will be... I don't think he'll be causing us any more problems anytime soon. He's got, I think, one territory left. One... But it's it's part of the Tomb Kings, Cetra's lands, and I'm trying to hope that he'll claim it and just wipe Emric off the face of the map. And then I won't have anything to fight but Queek. And between us and Krotgar, I think we can take him. Yeah, let's go ahead and occupy. That's nice. That's another capital for us. Perfect vigor. And 10% campaign movement range. Not to mention the attrition, but this is a very good trait to get on Tic-Tac-Toe. Alright. What else do we want on our boy Tic-Tac here? Um, We're trying to go for Geomantic Sustenance. Gotta get the cost of all of our armies down as low as possible. This is a skink chief, so eventually he's going to be on a stegodon. So the hit points will matter. 3% of his tiny hit point pool right now doesn't matter that much. 3% uh, of like 10,000 becomes a relevant, relevant figure. Do we not have anything for you? Helm of Discord is very powerful. Maybe a little too strong for you. But we had a few things. Alright, and with that... There are no unique buildings here. But this place is going to be a money-making place. And I really want to get over here and do the Mask of Heavens quest battle today. Ah, uh, with a little bit of money. That's not an important upgrade. I'd like to either get... I mean, something like this would be nice. It's a little bit of a garrison, but that's really all it does. If it doesn't make me money, it's hard to justify it. Martech. What would we get here at Martech? Um, we could get a stone marker. This place does make money. Okay. Eventually we'll revisit Bell Aliad, I think. But for now, they're not causing me any problems. So, we'll just chill. And I think we're good, guys. We've got war waging on so many different fronts, though. I don't... Oh, that's what we were doing. Okay. We were going to take the fight to Arnheim. Next turn. Okay, let's roll. On to the next one. Yeah, guys. Broken air conditioning in southern Texas. Not a good time. What's well, 100 degrees outside? Uh, yeah. I slept in my living room last night with the fan directly on me. Trying not to melt. I've been there before, though. I've slept in the heat. I've slept outside. I was, I mean, I was in the army for years, but it's just once you get used to it, man. You know what, let's, knowledge can wait here. 
Uh, let's, I'm going to read this for you guys. Sometimes these are interesting. The discovery of an ancient plaque has revealed lost knowledge, which may increase the magical effectiveness of the great Salon Mage Priest. Not by much, but even a small geomantic advantage may contribute to the advancement of the great plan. However, such things are expensive to research, and so must be carefully considered. Yeah. This only lasts for 10 turns. This is very good, um, but we don't need it. I don't foresee us getting into some ridiculous fight that we're going to absolutely have to have that that tiny advantage. Look how far Oxyado can run. His campaign movement range is insane. Look at all these abilities they have, too. All right, we're going to take this. Oh, there's an admiral over here. Okay. They're coming. I'm happy, though. We have Arnheim and the Bleakhold Fortress. We have the two that I care about the most. Uh, we will take these, though. If if these guys come, the admiral obviously can't land. Would attack Arnheim, probably. Uh, but she can come over here and try to take Vol's anvil back. And I would like to not get my dudes assassinated by literal assassins. So let's get in here. You know what? No. We want to make sure we use our movement on our army. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here. And we're about to start taking the fight to Tretch. So this is great. We just got a skink chief, which is nice. I mean, he'll fight on the ground with our skinks. Oh, uh, and eventually he'll be an artillery piece. And we just got a caster, a level 9 caster, no less. Got nothing for you? Okay. But still, very good. Wind blasts, even have a comet. Very good versus the Skaven. And that's going to allow me to finally take the fight to them. Um, Circle of Destruction I'd like to go get. I don't know if it's ruins right now or if it's... Um, Futile. You know, an actual settlement that the, the Skaven have control of, which is what I would prefer. This is a little annoying. I probably could have attacked them from the water. Doesn't matter. We'll hit them next turn. At least we're not suffering attrition right now. And then we'll have control of this province. Our control seems to be pretty good. I do want to get this because it's going to lower the construction cost for everything as well as make me more gold. Um, let's see, in the arena here. Argoneth is upgraded. Man, my home province has been somewhat neglected. Get the Ripper Dactyls. What else would I get? Not the rights. I don't want to look at rights. I want to look at uh, technology. We finally got this stuff getting done. Once we get determining the Great Plant and we get interpreting the old ones, meaning public order won't be an issue anywhere that we control. I'd probably like to get this, the taming pin. And let's see if we can get something else here. Deadwood, by the way, great, great television show. If you've never seen that, probably the best written show ever made. I'll make that claim because I've watched a lot of goddamn TV in my life. And the writing on that show is, is unlike anything I've ever... I've ever seen anywhere else. I've seen Breaking Bad, I've seen Sopranos, I've seen Rome, I've seen... Uh, I mean, you name you name the show, I've, I've probably seen it. Man, it looks like I can get there, huh? Alright, well what's gonna happen is Teclis is probably gonna attack me from behind, which would be good. I'd be fine with that. I don't think he's gonna make it past Thoric here. What was the other show that was on the tip of my tongue? The Wire? I don't know. I've seen I've seen them all, guys. I've seen all the great shows. Uh, Deadwood. Best best writing. Season 2 is literal Shakespeare. Um, let's see. We've got that. We've got this. Tic-tac-toe. Um, the rats now control this. And they're looking to attack me here. We're not going to let him take anything. 
Although it does kind of suck because I cannot protect this place yet until it gets walls. We're going to be playing whack-a-mole down here for a little bit. I can feel it. That's not fun. Anyone else? I've got the money once again to get another army, though. If I really want to finance that. Lord Croak is almost to his destination. Who seeks me? And then we've got this to fight for three blessed Croxagores. Hmm. I could almost just walk there. I need to kill this army, but then I have no way to get out of there. Maybe it's worth it. I feel like I wait one turn, though. I still have several turns left, correct? I have seven. And I don't think anyone's going to kill that army out in the ocean. So I feel like we're safe. Safe to roll it. Oh, nice! So guys, I'm not... This This army is basically nothing. Uh, otherwise, I would, I would fight this. Because uh, I love fighting in the underway. But we're just going to auto-resolve it. They tried to go past us, and we caught them. That is so good for us. I'm going to kill and eat also. 27% replenishment is huge. What a good catch. Now I don't have to worry about that army skulking around behind me while I go and try to take the fight to Queek. That was very lucky. I have faced horrors unthinkable, I fear you not. Um, they want to make a military alliance with me. The thing is, they're not at war with anyone. I would c actually consider this. If I was in a position where I, I felt weak, I would 100% make a, a military alliance with them, especially if they're going to pay me for it. Um, but I don't know if they're going to end up going to war with any of my lizard people eventually, and I don't want to risk that. That's really my only uh, large consideration. Malice is just stuck up there. They've been destroyed. The Tomb Kings hit them. Kalidor is no more. That's that's great for us. We have an imminent rebellion here. Oh yeah, we've been in control of this place for way too long. Nice builder. Excellent. Shield of the Mirrored Pool. Great. Very cool. Yeah, we've been in control of this place forever. And we shouldn't be. I can recruit, but I'm not going to be able to recruit faster than I can get a level 8. I can get this guy in there. Level 8 Croxagore Lord. Pretty strong. You know what? If I had thought about it last turn and I could build up faster maybe than they could attack me and just get a nice like skink army, I might do that. But as of right now, I think I'm going to decline. Let's get more money, more money, more problems. This is kind of a functioning area. I, I usually like to give some recruitment whenever I build in a, in a particular area. Like, a spawning pool is a thousand gold investment, but if I ever have to recruit an army here, I'll be able to get some real units if I need them. And then we can always get a stone marker there. I don't want to spend all my cash. Because I may have even more urgent things that I'm not aware of. Techless, what are you doing, homie? Maybe he's taking the long way to go and take back the golden ziggurat. But while he left his home, the Great Turtle Isle, I'm just going to auto-resolve this as well. Probably, yeah, I'm going to take a massive amount of damage. I didn't lose my crystal, though. Almost did. Leadership... Give that to Tehana one. Might as well be nearly unbreakable. Look at the sack value. Almost 10 grand. Yeah, and our replenishment is so good. It's going to be at least two turns before he can get to me. Not bad. I don't mind having the Grand Plaza here. Uh, I also don't mind, of course, having the money. Um, but we're going to get rid of that. We should have done that last turn. And I'm going to get rid of this as well. 
You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm not, I'm actually gonna get rid of the money. I don't normally do that because this is not a place that I'm probably gonna be recruiting from. So I don't need to get crazy with the optimization. Renown and feared another eight percent upkeep reduction. Uh, but I was gonna say, um, it is kind of like a, a pivotal part of the map that I might need to control one day. So I'm gonna set it up as a place that I can recruit if need be. Uh, yeah, but this is great. Obviously, Renown and Feared is amazing and gonna further help my upkeep for my incredibly expensive armies. Deadly Onslaught. Still six more levels until Carnosaur. Deadly Onslaught's great. Can make you a much more effective duelist versus lord characters. This is usually why that ends up being so good. And there are... Yeah, there is a trade building here. The dinosaur reserves. Hell yeah. We're gonna get that at some point. It sucks to get rid of a fully upgraded... You know what? I don't need this. It's the public order building that I need to get rid of. I'm gonna have, through just pure tech, I'm gonna have plus six. And once I control this entire area, I'm gonna get this. And it's gonna give me another plus two at least. Maybe more as I, uh... Level up the geomantic web. So yeah. That's that's the right call. Alright, big boy here. Circle of destruction. Let's see what it is. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Magic resistance. Let's give that to Talaktalan. Now this place has been plagued, which is a little annoying. But this is worth it to me to reunite... This province. Boom. Just keep getting a little bit of untainted. That's nice whenever you're in Skaven territory. And then we'll hit Hotex Column next turn. That's a capital. I'm anticipating it being quite the, the scary fight. That's right. We also control this area. I remember Oxiato swept through here. Like a demon and took it all. We just have... Is it just one P Is this all that they have? Oh, their army's got to be sitting right here. I bet it's going to be a crazy fight. Okay. This is all I'm worried about right here. Let's kill them. They'll be able to run, but I think we'll be able to catch them. The Admiral can hit me at Arnheim. That should not have been that close of a victory. Oh, she has a, a Charybdis. Oh, look at this army. Black Guard, Executioner's Shades. Doomfire, Warlock, Scourge Runner, Chariots, Charybdis. Where the heck have you been? And I'll take the money there. And we'll head back to Arnheim. Because I can't travel from the water. No. No, I cannot. Would be cool to take the Galleon's Graveyard. This is my level 40? Oh, jeez. Um, what do we want for our last point? Something like that. Okay, you're done. You are still recruiting an Ancient Salamander, so you're just chilling for a minute. Let's buff Sudenberg. You know, this place needs walls. Walls before all. We've got a spot here for something else. Probably just money. Cash rules everything around me. Black Buckthorn. Okay, can't make any... Can't make any uh, alliances with him. I'd like for him not to start raiding me my territory. That would be nice. Levels here. Precision Strike. Let's get that. Plus 10 leadership and plus 5 melee attack when attacking. Having honed his senses through myriad battles, the Master of Sky strikes at the most opportune time, emboldening his forces while breaking the foe's guard. Um, why would I get this now? It's very good. But I think I need to keep pushing for more money. 
can give you some uh, armor there, Skink Priest. Grab Evasion. Grab Wild Heart. Get some recharge rate going. Get Survivalist up. Okay, and this is awesome. We were able to kill that army without having to chase it, which means we're free to go and do our quest battle, which is the main thing I wanted to get done today. Very good. Um, and here, I mean, it's easy enough just to say I should get an old one monument, but maybe I just hold off. Alright, let's go do this. Tic-tac-toe's battle. I don't know how, I mean, I feel like our army's not that strong, but we're going to do our best. They've got lots of plate claw catapults. They even got some Gisales in there. But maybe we can use our tools to, to shut them down. We're very mobile. I don't remember this battle. Using his aerial mobility, Tic-Tac-Toe has successfully tracked a large Skaven presence to a temple location where the geomantic web is emanating clear signs of deterioration. Having already sent some of his squadron to reconnoiter the area, he knows the place to be crawling with the abominable Ratmen. Although it seems not all of them are immediately visible on the battlefield, at least from his elevated vantage point. There must be more of them around somewhere, ready to scurry out from their squalid burrows. But Tic-Tac-Toe is unconcerned, for he is the peerless, fearless master of skies. Hell yeah, I beat the, I beat the load. <laughs> yeah, start the battle. See if we get a speech. The Skaven defile those temple ruins, disrupting the geomantic web here. For reasons I cannot see, this disruption also weakens my mask of heavens. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense, but we'll just go with it. Plot device. Our mission is clear. Purge these plague beasts from the area. In their contradiction of our master's will. Braves, bring wrath from the sky. Hell yeah, that's that's a cool order. Bring wrath from the sky. I hate it when they give me a mission where I don't get to like organize my forces. Tic Tac Toe, let's get you over there. Okay. You guys will be hot group five. Let's get you over there. I know I haven't even had a chance to look at the uh, the map yet. Why don't you guys sit together? Everyone's moving at least. Yeah. Okay. Get in there, guys. Just get in there and try and crush them as fast as we can. I need to take a look around at the terrain, figure out where the enemy might be coming from. Obviously, we gotta fight more than one enemy here. Just clan rats. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. Surrounding our forces. Do not allow your army to be separated. Okay. Oh, they're coming from up there. Use your uh, helm of discord. Chase, chase, chase. If they're not shattered, I don't want them uh, coming back. Oh no, okay. Let's unlock here. Let's make a front line. We're gonna go over there. Get you here. Get you here. You two go there. You two go there. Uh, I don't wanna lock. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, tic-tac-toe, you and your bodyguard, go attack this guy. I'm gonna send, actually I'm gonna send the skink chief there. I'm gonna send you here. Uh, 
Come on, homies. Attack one army head on, and by the time these guys get here, like, this army is gonna be dead. Alright. Send some reinforcements. Okay. Tell you what. Let's unselect here. Let's get a front line going. Strong front line. Alright. All that's getting routed off. Let's get Pterodons back here, supporting. Get our spear riders over there. Looks good, looks good. Let's go, boys. And then maybe we come over here. Yeah, you guys keep doing your job. You're chasing off the leadership. You have dropped your orders. Please, please do not be dropping your orders. Thank you. They might be the most important ones, because what I'm going to want them to do is go ahead and kill uh, the Play Claw Catapults. Which are getting in range of my infantry very soon. I don't know how much accuracy affects Play Claw Catapults, who aren't already all that accurate. Later, nerd. we we'll do one of these. Let's lock it up. Let's go. And I think we've chased them all off, right? I don't want any warp lightning casts from behind me. Okay. Attack. Attack. We don't need to go all the way around. If they're not going to leave dudes behind to defend, we don't need to go all the way around. That'll probably hurt them more than me. <laughs> so, I'm not... I can't be all that upset with that cast. The monks don't really have a chance, unsupported. Go ahead and use the Discord helm. Also give these guys a little more weapon strength and armor piercing. And that's the fight, is it not? Not too bad. Yeah, we just need to... Put our forces and assign them. Still casting, huh? Oh, there's a whole other army. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Once more, let's form up. Let's form up. Do they have artillery again? They do. Ooh, they have... Some rattling guns this time. A little scary. Let's see if our fireball can make some contact here. It does. Gutter runners, a little annoying as well. Let's see if we can land this big sphere of Tepok. Oh, baby. Get our cab going. 
Don't want to leave our army here unsupported. Nobody here is a monster duelist or anything like that. Why don't you chase him off the battlefield? That's a good job for you. You know, go fight there. You guys can chase the gutter runners. We don't have anything to lower their speed. We kind of wrecked them like that. Get back up in the air, homie. Throwing our little javelins. Very good. Use our poison attacks there. I'm hoping this is the last army here, because this is has turned into quite the fight. We need to get some cav on these gutter runners. Otherwise, they're just going to kite me into oblivion. We can let this uh, Plague Priest walk off the map now. You guys are kind of just shooting your skink buddies. Nice. You know what? Come over here. Drop some hot fire there. You can go support over here. Everything else shattered, right? Not broken. You're just broken. We need to we need to get you out of here. This little wind blast. Are we done? We're done. All right. Fun quest battle. I'm glad we had a pretty stacked army for this. I mean, our infantry quality is not the greatest, but that's not what won this battle for us. It was definitely our mobility, being able to quickly bounce back and forth. Our, uh, yeah, our cold one riders, their speed going behind the line, stopping these plague claw catapults. I could see if you weren't able to overwhelm them fast enough, how the enemy would just start stacking catapults and range stuff. But we were pretty overwhelming. We weren't even that abusive with our Winds of Magic. We could have tons of Flocks of Dooms, tons of Wind Blasts, very effective Skaven spells. That's definitely a huge consideration of mine whenever I play this game. What enemy am I going to be fighting? very much determines which spells I take. Not necessarily just which ones I think are the best or or whatever. Windblast is great versus high model count, low HP, low armor units. And that's, I mean, that's Skaven all day. Okay. Let's take the replenishment once again. Wait for this to pop. Any second now. There we go. And we get our Mask of Heavens. It's a constant armor and melee defense buff for flying units around him. It gives him perfect vigor, which he already had, but another 10% movement range is excellent. And that'll also free up his, his other item, his enchanted item, to go to someone else. Draft Master picked up. I will grab you a comet. Skink Chief, you've already got a, a torque. Alright. We want to start heading towards this area. And we can go in a that early direction to do that. We once again have a little cash. Let's upgrade Sudenberg, that way we can get walls here. 
And yeah, this is what we were hoping. That Setcher would come here and take the plane of Tuskers, and they did. They didn't waste any time. Once we killed Emmerich's stack, he was pretty much done for. Okay, is Latota here? Probably going to be an auto-resolve. Alright, one less place for the Dark Elves to spit armies out at me. With the province secured, we can try and make sure we maintain control of this place. We're good there. What are we working on? Yeah, Blade Master. Seems great. And then from here, I should probably start choosing which units I want to get rid of. And I'm looking at these Blessed Skink Skirmishers as a potential cut. I just need to get rid of one to make room for Lord Croak. And that's it, man. There are no more uh, Dark Elves higher than us here. We'll go to take the Spire soon. But that's awesome. Uh, Tehenna one's done. Is everyone done? I think so, huh? Yeah. Alright. Blood Swamps is gonna have a rebellion. I'm not... I can't stop that. Last time they made a rebellion and then they attacked me without having sufficient strength to win in the auto-resolve. Although I would argue they probably had the strength to win in an actual fight, but... And auto resolve, no, they they couldn't win. I have no idea where Teclas is. I feel like he probably got smashed. Thoric is doing what I asked him to do, and he's taking the fight to the Chamber of Visions, and he took it. <laughs> and it's gone. That South Park episode where they invest in stocks always makes me laugh. And it's gone. <laughs> Look that up if you haven't ever seen it. It's worth it. See, now they're attacking me, and there's no way I'm going to be able to beat this in any facet. Yeah. So down it goes. Scouts have located a minor branch of the Druki's Black Way. I don't know what that is. Emerging deep in your territory, allowing our allies of the ancient enemy... So near your heartlands is unacceptable. The spread of ruinous corruption cannot be allowed and risk the cornerstones of the great plan for all time. Should you close this potential enemy conduit or use it for yourself to harry the Dark Elves all the way back to Negra? So, untainted, but we lose money? Keep the black way open. Um, no. That's... I don't want to lose money, though. Sure, I'll keep it open. I'm making 12 grand a turn now. Finally, I'm making real money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, they're... Okay, that makes sense. They're, they'll be gone soon. Very soon, indeed. I don't know what else uh, the Court of Libris has, uh, but it can't be much. Looks like Teclas retreated to his northern lands. Interesting AI activity. I don't know if I've ever seen them do that. It just ran away to a defensible, a more defensible location. Very smart. We'll send the Hinoan here to the remnants of battle and see if we can attack Mud Isles in the same turn. That would be excellent. Arabian Arms, let's take that. We'll get money and heavy iron. So big bust for our army. Yeah. I figured if I went all the way there, it wouldn't let me get that. But that's okay. We'll take Mud Isles next turn. We'll have the entire province. That will be excellent. And let's see where he is on the strength ranking. The knowledge and wisdom of your... it, man, I love that he's a friend of the, the Lizardmen. Um, you're great, and I'd like to make an alliance with you, Gorok, because I'd like to eventually confederate with you. But I don't want you pulling me into some silly wars that I'm not prepared for yet. 
Could try and make friends with the Bowmen of Orion. Oh, Fortress of Dawn is ready for an upgrade? We should do that. Krogar. Just take a look at his stack. Even he's using ogres. It's funny, I would think he'd be rolling with all Soros warriors. Okay. Travel this way. Get a little more cash. Upgrade here. Upgrade our gem mine here. That's a great upgrade. That's a lot more money. Sure, I'll just take that. We're going to be taking the fight to Queek pretty soon. I'm anticipating this being completely him. Um, hmm. The Golden Tower is such a good location. But we're not, of course, going to try to take that from Krotkar. If I can get the capital, I'll be happy to also take Sotek's uh, trail. But who knows what's there. Hmm. Okay. You guys are all good. Zlatota's good. We'll send him back down here. Yeah, I'm just gonna kick these guys. I've got enough skirmishers with the five blessed chameleon skinks. Um, let's get in here. It'll increase our public order. At the cost of basically nothing. Oh my gosh, the the reunion is happening. What is our relationship with you guys? Yeah, I can't really mess that up. But what I can do is come down here and maybe take the ancient city of Quintex from them. That would be pretty cool. I think if I can kill this admiral, I need to. He's trying to expand. I think we can catch him. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't know where he's going to run to, but I'm thinking we'll be able to catch him. Are you serious? Boy, that's... That's some annoying stuff right there. Well, it did look like we would be able to catch him. Now I wish I had ignored him. But he, I think he's stuck in here now. So he's dead meat next turn. Oh, that's right. We still have this situation to deal with. Happy to see another level here. Let's also see if we've got anything I can give to you guys. A charm shield? Okay. Could just grab better Comet, or the ability to upgrade the Comet. Skink Chief. No extra armors, no nothing. Let's give you... Yeah, just keep pumping Survivalist for now. And let's go see if we can knock out Tretch. I'm sure he's got an army sitting right here. Yep. Although it's not Tretch's army. Triple Assassin, Warlock Engineer, and I think that's, uh, I forget what these guys are called, the Clan Eshin Wizards. Lots of high tier Storm Vermin and stuff, but I don't think they're any match. That noise is crazy loud, too, that bubbling cauldron sound. I don't think they're any match for four Stegodons, Bastilodons, three Carnosaurs, you know, I can hit every gate. And I think I will. I don't know if I'm going to climb the walls at all here. I think I'm just going to hit three gates. I think that's the play. Send some Stegodons and, you know, stuff to every gate with a little bit of infantry support. Move my Chameleon Skanks around as needed. Uh, 
All right. I mean, or I could try to force everyone through one gate. That's kind of the cheesy way to do it. And it also won't work very well. Um, what I could do also is send one Bastilodon to each gate. Hmm. Let's do this. Three. And then you guys. Will be my other gate busting crew. I kind of want to send some leadership over there to help them. If I'm going to climb the walls, they're going to be the ones that do it. We've also learned in this campaign, I think very well, that uh, chameleon skinks are not good in sieges unless you just use them to climb the walls. But the problem is there's so much... There's so many... Um, frick, what are they called? Storm vermin. There's so many storm vermin here that they're just not going to be good against. So that's my big question. Do I send my chameleon skanks to a different part of the wall? Maybe here. Hmm. Let's deploy here. We'll see. Alright guys. Wish me luck. It all depends. How much are they investing in their storm vermin, you know? Alright, I'm gonna manually do this. Because I think the AI is just gonna mess it up. Very good. What do we have here? Some different potions. Casters here. This is Storm Vermin, so unless we are going to drop something with some armor piercing, we need to be careful there. Comet should do good work. It's a little early in the fight to drop this. But I'm more just curious how much damage it'll do. That's 30 kills, and like 60% of their HP gone. Yeah, we can ignore their summons. These guys are not climbing in the place where I asked them to, but that's alright. Gate houses are coming down. They let one of my Carnosaurs through, which is kind of annoying. Nice. Now they've accidentally let my Basilivon through, which is equally bad because they're fighting amongst uh, Storm Vermin. With Halberds. But they've let me take the walls, which is kind of an interesting tactic. Get in there, homies. Just get in there and do work. Oh, this is bad. You gotta run. They're gonna kill my skink chief. Potentially. We've got a nice lizard fight going over there. Come stand right here and shoot. We knew this was going to happen. Is this broken yet? Break it, guys. We'll use them to come and support. Come here and start shooting.
I would think that the Red Crescent Skins could beat the Night Runners, but maybe not. I've got lots of Winds of Magic in reserve, but if I keep casting, I'm not going to be able to, uh, to use it. Because my regen will go down so low that it'll take forever to get back up. Keep killing, homie. Here we go. Getting these shots is great. We broke through. We broke through. Get in. Get in. Yeah, shoot at them. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever you're shooting at, just keep on shooting. This is a big cast. 67 kills. That's all like storm vermin. And they're tightly packed. I mean, that's like 60 dead storm vermin with one cast. We take those. Poor Stegadon stuck out here. Push through, homies. Push through. Actually, you know what? Don't push through. Just keep chewing on these dudes. Our Chameleon Skinks are doing a number on these Storm Vermin with Halberds. They're just sitting here taking it. Meanwhile, their HP is ticking down. That's very good for us. The biggest problem here is that their leadership core is still strong, but they're also over here fighting my weakest units. They're fighting my skink cohorts. Push. Push into the storm vermin. Go help. Carnosaur is going to do okay just because his weapon strength is so high, but he's eventually he's going to get dragged down by this many halberds. What I kind of need to do is get up here and start getting this victory condition down. That way I potentially don't have to kill all of the, uh, the leadership here. Like, this is getting a little sketchy. Oh no, don't let them sit here and shoot me. You get in here and help the skink chief. Make sure he's got some backup. Us controlling the walls here is nice. Everything that routes in that direction is kind of screwed. Fine, Basilodon. Just do it, man. I'm worried about an assassin coming in here and killing me. Another storm vermin situation. You gotta hold long enough to cast this spell. We can move a little bit, make him chase. Boom. See ya. That was a beautiful cast. I'll humble brag on that one a little bit. Come on, Carnosaur. This is like the highest leadership Skaven I've ever seen. I was wondering what the heck was killing me. And it's a Master Assassin sitting up here. Throwing his darts. My skink chief got worked over. Let's make sure our Croxagore Lord is uh well helped and not alone. We've got the Chameleon Skinks to come up here and back this up. 
take this, make sure you're still shooting. And we can come over here and take some shots at the uh, the storm vermin. Guard mode's not on, he'll chase. Should we use our buffs to beat down this sorcerer? He's got some backup. Alright, let's give him Harmonic Convergence. He seems like he needs the help somehow. He's not winning against this thing. Keep fighting, skinks. Get in. Alright, now we'll kite. Okay, okay, routed the storm vermin, excellent. Keep chasing. Gotta get the carnosaurs in. Thirty-four storm vermin over there. I'm guessing we killed the sorcerer. There's still multiple assassins on the field. We did not kill him, we just broke him. Get him, Carno. Shattered. Excellent. That's what we want to see. You're fast enough to get on him. The triads have to go. They're good anti-large. There was a surprising amount of Skaven anti-large in this fight. You know what, you're probably going to be needed over here. These assassins are going to come for me eventually. Alright. But with this, we can troll. No, 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 no. Do not let them rally. Don't let them rally. Even the Skaven Slave Slingers at this point could be... Problematic. The, the problem also could be is if Tretch has an army just right around the corner that'll come and hit me next turn. That could be uh, not good. Set up some kind of defense here. Double Carnosaur on the Master Assassin. I'll send you there as well. You guys can come back. Sure. Chase off all my stuff. We just want to make sure we're keeping everyone together. And there we go. The balance of power just shifted again. They shattered. We don't need to chase them anymore. Man, they made me work for this. They did not just give me this win. But guys, that's going to be it. I just realized how long this battle took. Wow. Whew. Maybe I should have cheesed them more with my casting. Instead of trying to give them a fair fight, I could have just pushed everything through one gate, made them blob up, and just cometed them to death, or wind blasted them to death. Would have been a very viable and good strategy. But it's wit. I mean, how much more fun was that? How much more micro-intensive than just... Forcing the rats to pile up and then commenting them to death. Wouldn't have been as fun. And then Taloctalon got a chance to get a little workout. Almost 200 kills. But man, just an unbelievable number of uh, storm vermin with halberds. Death runners, triads. I mean, they, these assassins mulch through my skinks. But that was their job was to get mulched, basically. Okay, faction destroyed! Yes, so no uh, repercussions for taking this. None whatsoever. We are the owners of this entire peninsula. With a little bit of a buffer here from the Wood Elves protecting us. But how excellent is that? We'll destroy this. I don't need... Don't need that. I'll keep one recruitment here and I prefer it to be this. I could... 
Damn, a Skink Oracle would be sick. I could get another Skink Chief, which I might just go ahead and do. Cunning, Determined. I'd prefer to get one that can do something for my entire army, but if not... Poison Attack's not super relevant, I don't think. Let's get Tepchik. Sounds like a Pokemon. Not Torchic, Tepchik. We'll get one of each of those. Two of those. And you'll be uh, popped into this army. Probably get rid of... Get, start getting rid of some of these Bastilodons. I like them, but they're a bit expensive. Saurus is probably what's really needed. Send them into there. Draft Master. Okay, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Brett. Channel's Good Talk Gaming. We've made a lot of progress in today's episode. Hope you enjoy. Once again, sorry about the dearth of videos, but uh, I'm doing my best. And uh, I'll be sure to get more stuff up for us next time. Later, guys.